Okay, so let's continue with the uh, last talk in the session. Uh, the next speaker is Yu Yakutsuki from YITP, uh, and he will tell us about the page curve in moving neural setup. Please take it away. Okay, well, yeah, thanks for the introduction. And thanks for giving me a chance to talk uh, here. Yeah. Okay, I'll talk about the page curve in moving neural setup from uh, boundary conformity theory. You know, this is in a collaboration with the Akaro of Shiba, Takayanagi, and Wei. Yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd first like to earn a brief summary of my talk here. Uh, yeah, the motivation is simple. Yeah, we, I would like to uh, give the, I would like to uh, reproduce the pulse curve, mimic the pulse curve from the purely BCLC perspective. Actually, this is motivation is very natural uh, as I explained in a few slides, a few, few, few next slides. And uh, uh, what way uh, and uh, the conclusion is that uh, we give, yeah, we really give the uh, simple setup that completely mimics the black hole evaporation uh, by in the BCFT setup in that uh, we can show that uh, uh, we show that uh, we can uh, mimic the uh, page curve uh, in the summer of uh, standard BCFT wells in a particular conformal map. And uh, yeah, this is just a BCFT calculation. So uh, the point is that uh, oh, the calculation is very easy. So we can study or uh, yeah, we can study or uh, Male things are in this uh, setup, and finally we can show that yeah we I show that uh, we can uh, we can show that uh, oh this setup completely already reduces the pulse curve from the BCF express the BCFT calculation, and actually I believe that uh, oh uh, I believe that uh, oh this uh, this model uh, would interpret uh, the uh, BCFT and, uh, and uh, JT gravity plus the CFT bus setup. And so I, I believe that uh, this, uh, yeah, this model would provide uh, new, new insights in the understanding of the relation between uh, yeah, BCFT and uh, yeah, JT gravity plus. Or CFT or equivalent to the relation between this BCFT and the groundwork orography. And also, maybe I can comment that, uh, yeah, we can think of this setup as some new type of quantum conformal theory. So maybe we can apply oh, the setup to fit interesting fish curve topics other than the page curve, for example, condensed matter theory. Anyway, this is the brief summary and the first and, uh, and the, in the next few slides, I'd like to give the introduction. Okay, maybe uh, you've already heard uh, of this topic uh, many times uh, in this uh, workshop. So I uh, briefly, very briefly, I'll review this uh, topic. Yeah, actually recent progress about the page curve is based on this type of setup in that we consider the joining uh, Two systems in the uh, no gravitational basis, but CFT and CFT on dynamical gravity. And this is dynamical, so uh, so uh, we can think uh, we can study the radiation from uh, this uh, uh, gravity, this dynamical gravity to this bus. And so uh, we can naturally expect that if we evaluate the entanglement between uh, this CFT and ADLs, then uh, actually, uh, this uh, 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 this uh, includes the entanglement entropy by the uh, radiation from this uh, gravity like this. In that uh, with yeah, in that uh, yeah, we we should first find the early radiation from the uh, gravity, and then this uh, includes the entanglement entropy like this. But uh, now we consider the. Uh, Evaporating black hole in that the black hole is evaporating. So uh, finally, we should also find the pattern of this early radiation, and this uh, right radiation should decrease their entanglement entropy like this. 
Uh, this is the so-called Lepeshkov. But uh, somehow, uh, the naive calculation, yeah, semi-classical calculation leads to uh, the uh, discovering that the Hawking curve, and so we have to resolve this uh, conflection between this Hawking curve and the pH curve. And there uh, one and some of uh, some of works uh, about the pH curve is yeah, uh, uh, yeah resolves, resolves this pH curve problem by using the by using the brain world holography. In that uh, yeah uh, we can. Yeah, actually, the dual of this setup is just given by the LDS with uh, some end of the world brain like this. In that uh, this uh, asymptotic boundary corresponds to CFTD on the, this uh, end of the world brain corresponds to CFTD on the uh, dynamical gravity like this. And uh, yeah, in this setup, we can evaluate the entanglement entropy well as quantum correction by using their new dynamic formula. Uh, 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 it, with the quantum correction in this lower dimensional picture by using the, uh, by the by the Luther Cunning formula in this uh, higher dimensional picture in that uh, uh, the entanglement entropy in this uh, with, with quantum correction in this lower picture is just given by the area of the Luther Cunning surface like this. And the point is that the Luther Cunning surface can end on this end of the world around and uh, yeah, and the contribution from this uh, end of the world brain is very important in that this relates to the degrading of their uh, entropy like this. Maybe you've already, uh, yeah, uh, this story in other talks uh, in, this, in this workshop, yeah. Anyway, this is the, re uh, th this is the story or the recent uh, uh, developments about the pace curve. And but uh, unfortunately, maybe uh, yeah, at least for me, the brain world holography is not so well understood. So some works is uh, not based on brain world holography, but uh, on the on but based on the PCFT. In that uh, uh, this is just an LDS, so we can apply the LDS, LDS CFT corresponding to this gravity, and we obtain uh, the boundary conformal theory like this. And then uh, from this picture, yeah, we can apply the uh, ADS BCF to this to this uh, boundary conformal field theory, then we obtain the same picture like this. And uh, yeah, we will have that this serial pictures are equivalent in some sense, but uh, for now we don't have a uh, explicit example of the BCFT which, uh, which shows the pitch curve. So here. So yeah, now uh, my motivation is to uh, give one expressed example of the boundary CFT, whose boundary uh, has the, uh, shows the radiation, has the radiation. Uh, to be more, uh, to be more precise, uh, uh, yeah, one, yeah, one resolution can be uh, considered by the, one resolution can be given by considering the conformal welding program, which is explained in the, uh, in the Marlison's Mar talk or some, or to Kano's talk or some, yeah. Anyway, in this uh, setup, uh, we can find the radiation from the uh, welding point like this. And uh, yeah, if we have the uh, BCFT dual of this setup, then maybe uh, we can find the radiation from the boundary like this. And uh, yeah, we would like to realize this boundary conform of the theory with radiation uh, in, by some uh, way. Yeah, this is the motivation of our. Uh, this is the motivation of our uh, work, and uh, yeah, this uh, the simplest realization is uh, or maybe given by or moving, or given by considering the uh, moving mirror, uh, which is already yeah. This moving mirror is found in text background. This and uh, yeah. Uh, Yeah, what happened is simple in that uh, uh, here we consider the accelerating boundary and this acceleration would provide the radiation like this. And the questions are as follows. Yeah, how to describe this moving mirror in conformal field theory? And if we can accomplish it, it uh, another question arises in that uh, how, uh, how does the entanglement entropy behave, sir, behave, behave in the setup? 
uh, or yeah, in particular, can we find the page, can we find the page curve uh, from the explicit car CFD calculation? And uh, yeah, if we can do it, then uh, yeah. Uh, this is the question, can we learn more about moving mirror by this simplified uh, BCFD calculation? And the interesting point is that, uh, yeah, we believe that uh, oh, this model, uh, yeah, this model is the first step of the model radiation set up from a pure BCFT perspective. And I believe that uh, yeah, this model interprets the BCFT and uh, JD gravity plus uh, CFT bus setup. And maybe I, uh, yeah, we believe that, uh, yeah, maybe there are there, this moving mirror with slight modification would be equivalent to the JD plus CFT bus setup. Set up uh, or because uh, yeah because uh, our this setup completely mimics the base curve. Okay, let's explain how to uh, describe the moving mirror in co-boundary cohomophy theory framework here, and uh, uh, we describe the boundary uh, by the by capital Z like this, and we consider uh, the time dependent boundary like this. And here we consider the Laurentian CFD. Yeah, actually, uh, actually, uh, we can uh, realize this moving mirror setup uh, very simply in that uh, uh, we consider uh, some particular conformal map. Uh, here, for simple, for convenience, uh, we set uh, we introduce parameters u equal t minus x and v equal t plus x. And we consider a conformal transformation u zero that equal p u and v zero that equal v, and uh, in, and this this p u uh, is just the solution to this equation. This the, you know, this equation just comes from the uh, position of the boundary of this standard BCFT in that just the u zero that equal v zero. There. And by using this conformal map, we can map this uh, moving mirror setup to just the standard BCFT. So we can uh, use their uh, many techniques in bound the standard boundary conformal theory, for example, word identity or yeah, some other techniques. And uh, yeah, actually, uh, as we expected, uh, we can find non-zero energy flux on the boundary like this. Uh, described by this, or I could say the gravity plus bar set up. Yeah, now I'm interested in you know, uh, as I mentioned before, now I'm interested, uh, now I'm interested in the entropy of radiation. And in this moving mirror setup, uh, yeah, what, it, what, would, what we would like to, uh, what we want is uh, the entanglement entropy for the, uh, for, uh, Half infinite uh, subsystem pulls out uh, very close to uh, boundary because we would like to think of this boundary as a dy dynamical gravity. And uh, uh, yeah, uh, the point is that uh, yeah, entanglement entropy in standard BCFT is calculable in that it's just an correlator of twist fields. And as I mentioned before, uh, and uh, Moving mirror setup can be mapped from the standard BCFT by a conformal map P or PU. So uh, everything is fine in that, uh, yeah, we can evaluate the entanglement entropy in this uh, moving mirror setup. So let's consider the entropy of radiation in the setup from the BCFT characterization. Yeah, actually, uh, in our paper there, uh, we show uh, various. Uh, various uh, or boundary trajectories, but uh, I don't have enough time. So here I pick up uh, one, one trajectory that the comparator mimics the base curve. Yeah, we consider uh, something like this boundary trajectory in that uh, uh, far, uh, in that uh, uh, in the early time, uh, the boundary uh, is fixed at zero. And uh, in this uh, region, uh, the boundary is uh, on the new line. And uh, in the right time, uh, the boundary is again fixed at uh, some point like this. And we can, yeah, we can realize this boundary by this conformal map. OK, 
Yeah, and uh, uh, if we, if this model mimics the evaporating black, uh, black hole, uh, we should first to find uh, the increasing or uh, increasing entanglement entropy uh, uh, due to the early radiation. And uh, yeah, after that, uh, uh, we should also find the pattern of this early radiation that the rate of radiation and uh, this should decrease the entanglement entropy like this. So uh, if this model mimics the evaporating black hole, then we should find the, uh, find this type or this test curve of the entanglement entropy. And actually uh, now our BCFT calculation completely reproduces this test curve in that uh, uh, with uh, in, in this region, uh, the entanglement entropy shows the linear growth, and in this region, uh, and, uh, the entanglement entropy shows the linear decay. And uh, actually, uh, the BCFT calculation is very simple, and so we can give a more clear, uh, more, more clear understanding of this uh, uh, mechanism. Yeah, uh, yeah. In our paper, we uh, consider we we consider uh, more various or uh, more, more various setups in the finite interval case or some other yeah, cases. Then we can identify what uh, yeah we can identify what happens in this uh, setup and uh, yeah we can give a clear cross particle picture uh, for 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 this uh, setup. Uh, yeah, what happens is that uh, uh, the pair creation uh, occurs on the uh, particular uh, uh, particular line that are described by this equation. And uh, oh, yeah, this is the early 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 radiation and uh, uh, the late radiation uh, is uh, just uh, just the radiation reflected by the boundary like this. And so we can say that the later, the later addition is just the, uh, yeah, really the pattern of our radiation, which is just ref, uh, yeah, reflected the EPR, uh, reflected uh, the pattern of this EPR field. Yeah, so yeah, I can say that, uh, yeah, we have in the career cross particle picture. Yeah, we can, we can show the clear, clear pass, particle picture from the BCFT calculation. Simple, uh, and actually, we can also evaluate it uh, in the gravity or uh, holographic dual. And uh, yeah, actually, we know that the holographic entanglement entropy in boundary cohomology theory is just uh, uh, given by the area of the kind of surface. But uh, uh, if we consider, oh, uh, yeah, first of all, the, uh, the holographic dual of boundary conformal field theory is just given by the uh, LDS with the uh, end of the world brain like this. And uh, in this case, uh, the Ryuta kind of for, uh, the kind of formula uh, is modified in that uh, the Ryuta kind of surface can end on this end of the world brain like this. And so we have two phases like this. And actually, now our BCFT calculation is completely reproduced by this uh, disconnected phases like the island formula. And I can comment that our works of uh, holographic analysis about the pH curve, uh, about the pH curve, no, 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 moving the setup in uh, the um, here small and the hot sound, sigita sound, uh, correspond to this uh, connected phase. This is a comment. Yeah, I see there is one question. Okay. So, so uh, yes. in the previous slide, uh, could you tell me the location of a uh, moving mirror uh, in this picture? Oh, this is the moving. Uh, this is the bounder uh, moving mirror. Oh, really? So, uh, yeah, yeah. so, so you 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 are uh, considering a junction between the end of the world brain and the BGFT brain. At, uh, yeah, yeah. This is just at the moving mirror. Uh, yeah, this so, is just. Uh, yeah, this is just the BCF or uh, this BCFT, and uh, yeah, this this uh, this end point is just the boundary of this. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh, but uh, so the 
end of the world brain is uh, ADS, not? Yeah. Just flat, flat, brain, flat brain. Sorry. It's a uh, geometry is flat. Minkowski? No, 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 no. Our, uh, ADS. ADS are, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we can't, but they are, in this case, it's just ADS. I mean, uh -huh. uh, maybe ADS, yeah. Uh -huh. So the, the moving mirror has a tension, some, some tension. Is that true? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, here we uh, drop many times, but uh, yeah, we can find, uh, yeah, we can also find the boundary entropy, which uh, corresponds to their, yeah, which tension. can be described by uh, tension, yeah. Oh, I see. Thank you. Uh, okay, okay. And this is the summary of my talk. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. What we what we would like to do is just uh, uh, just just uh, uh, we we would like to uh, reproduce the page count from the BCF, BCF viewpoint. And the conclusion is that uh, uh, yeah, we provide the simple setup that mimics the black hole evaporation. And uh, yeah, this moving mirror setup can be obtained by just the standard BCFT with a particular conformal map. And the point is that uh, yeah, this calculation is very easy, so we can study yeah, we, we can study our many things about the page curve very easily in this. And uh, we we find out uh, how the entanglement entropy this uh, this setup uh, completely reproduces the page curve. And we can give the clear cross particle picture. And uh, also, yeah, holographic calculation is consistent with this BCFT calculation. And we can show that uh, this connects to phase determinants in this case. Yeah, actually, there are various future directions. And here, we, I pick up some of them. Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe. Uh, yeah, I would like to understand precise relation between moving mirror and the JT plus bus setup. And maybe uh, this would also uh, provide uh, new insights into understanding of the relation between parameter holography and ADS BCFT. And also, uh, uh, about what's the boundary set cor corresponding to the evaporating black hole? Yeah, this is a very interesting uh, work. And as I mentioned before, maybe we can apply oh, this setup to other interesting physical questions other than the physical, yeah, physical. Yeah, that's our thanks. Okay, thanks a lot for the nice talk. So, uh, other questions? Yes, Kotaro, please. Ah, thank you. So I have one question about your page curve. Uh, if I remember correctly, you observed some sharp page curve. I mean, you have two transition, but it has some peak, right? Yeah. And, you know, uh, in, in some calculation based on the, including some non deprecated symmetric subtle point, sometimes people obtain some more smooth curve of the, this type of time evolution. So my question is, uh, do you have any comments on to reproduce some such a more smooth curve from your uh, setup? I see. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm asking because it might be a key to understand the non replica symmetric contribution in the CFT calculations, so. Uh, okay, okay, yeah, you're right. Uh, 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 yeah, actually, uh, no, this is not uh, equivalent to the, yeah, uh, not equivalent to the uh, set or uh, the JT gravity process CFT bus setup. And uh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe what we need to do is to uh, modify the, uh, Boundary, uh, boundary set in that here we, we don't assume or we don't impose any conditions on the boundary state, but uh, maybe uh, to reproduce the uh, 
correct uh, to reproduce uh, the uh, JT gravity plus CFT bus setup, then uh, we have to, maybe, maybe we have to uh, consider a dynamical boundary state or some of the guys. And then may, in that case, maybe, uh, yeah, we can find uh, some, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, some, some, some topics about, the, about that are smoothing curve or, yeah. I yeah, see. Anyway, but yeah. Yeah, anyway, yeah, uh, yeah, it, it, yeah, this is very simple, simplest example. So it, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, in this movie we're set up, we can uh, maybe uh, discuss uh, anything, uh, anything about the smoothing. So maybe uh, we have to modify the movie mirror uh, to, yeah. To, uh, yeah, modify this setup uh, so that uh, it so so that uh, this is equivalent to the JT gravity processor. Yeah, safety bus setup. I see. Okay, thank you very much. So, any other questions? Yes. Please okay. go ahead. Uh, thank you very much for interesting uh, talk. Uh, so in your scheme, can you compute the general formula of the partner mode? So in two-dimensional uh, moving formula case, I and my collaborator, uh, Takeshi Tomitsuka and Koji Yamaguchi uh, construct the general, uh, general formula of the partner mode, but uh, in your case, you may be more generalized uh, situation. You, you consider more general situation. I'm wondering, you get to have such a formula for a partner mode. So if you have picked some particle mode, working particle mode, then can you compute the uh, partner mode uh, by using some safety tool? Uh, partner modes. So, uh, 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 for example, uh, in Gaussian state, like a vacuum state or excited uh, a Gaussian excited state, we can ex explicitly construct the operator of a uh, partner uh, partner particle corresponding to the Hawking particle. So maybe two years ago, we wrote a paper about that. But uh, anyway, so we would like to extend the result to your case. So I'm wondering, <laughs> oh, is it possible or not to construct such a whole formula by using a CFT? Uh, for example, uh, if we focus on the, if we focus on the, uh, your, uh, uh, free, free, free scalar mm -hmm. chaos. There, yeah, we can explicitly give the yeah uh, radiation mode, uh, uh, this uh, reflected mode. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, you're right. And then uh, we can compute such a pattern mode explicitly by using the such a uh, conformal mapping. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can we can give the explicit formula for the for for this uh, rad yeah. For this mode. So, what is the pattern yeah. mode or corresponding to a Hawking particle? So, uh, we have all the results, but uh, you consider more generalized situation, extension uh, of our situation. So, you may have some modification or correction term uh, may appear in the form formula. So, I have interest in such a correction term. So uh, I just ask you about, is it possible to compute such a, a general formula to find in a partner mode uh, by fixing the Hawking particle mode in your scheme? Uh, or uh, yeah, first of all, yeah, as I mentioned before, yeah. Uh, 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 
So, and so, uh, so I just ask you about that. So, uh, are you assuming the Gaussianity of the quantum state, or you consider uh, non Gaussian state? So, it is a uh, depend on the situation, but uh, I'd like to know what you assume for the quantum state. Uh, 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 yeah, to, 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 uh, to show the explicit, for, uh, uh, explicit formula for uh, this mode, then yeah, we assume that, uh, uh, yeah, we assume that in our CFT is a full scale, but uh, yeah. Uh, you mean the Gaussianity is also imposed? to the quantum state. Can, can I comment on this? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, this calculation of entanglement interval is quite general. Uh, we only use conformal mapping. Oh. Uh, yeah, we don't have any assumption except that theory is unitary. And uh, when this calculation is for interval, uh, finite mm -hmm. interval, we need to input that this theory is holographic CFT. I see. But uh, I think Hotosan's question is about the partner mode, how this model looks like. But th for this, we need an explicit form or, or express Lagrangian or express representation fields. Well, we have yeah. to define creation plate and annihilation plate. Yes. And then that is outside of our target. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But whole equally restrict uh, free scale, yes, we, we did. That way we find like this, uh, as Kusuki san mentioned, is where creation location is found by looking at their creation in free scalar model. Mm -hmm. But, uh, uh, for that, we need some special theory like free scale. Okay. But the calculation of entropy itself, we don't need any uh, assumption. Okay. I see. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks. For, yeah, thanks for comments. Okay. So I don't see any other questions. So then, uh, thanks, Yuya, again for the nice talk. And also to all the uh, presenters in this uh, afternoon session. So I, I, I think this is the last, this was the last talk, yes. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah, I have a- is, So um, is, is, there, is there any announcement? Oh yeah, indeed I have. Yeah, indeed. okay. Yeah, okay, I ahead. put it this time in yeah, Zoom link. I don't know, this drink for, the coffee break today and uh, also I mean okay as I as I was sent an email about it but okay so one of this I mean talk in this evening session uh, was cancelled and uh, so uh, this evening session will be starting from 11 uh, 15 uh, the talk by BJ vs Brahmanian uh, yeah that's it So... Oh.